How to have permanent notifications on your Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have permanent notifications on your Xiaomi Poco F1 running miui 10 let's first go into settings about phone and as you can see right now i'm running the latest global stable 10.3.4.0 and another thing you need to note is that you do not need any root access for this process all you need to do is go into the play store and then you need to search for an application called notch notification miui and then you need to install this first application which you see which is this guy over here let me bring the phone a bit closer so notch notifications for miui by andrea this is the application which you need to install it is a free application however there are certain features which require a pro version but they're not a deal breaker and if you choose to support the developer you can always go ahead and buy the pro version once you have installed the application you need to open it and then you will see a screen like this so I will show you the screen this is what you will see when you open the application for the first time you need to make sure that all of these are enabled so you need to enable overlay notification access accessibility service enable write storage permission once you have enabled all these things then you need to click on go once you click on go you will be brought to this screen here you need to enable auto start then go into app permissions make sure that storage access is also enabled click on other permissions make sure these three settings are also checked and in green then you need to go back and then click on notifications make sure these are enabled as well show notifications app icon badge enabled go back go into battery saver and then make sure it is set to no restrictions by default it will be set to battery saver but we need to set it to no restrictions once that is done go back and then make sure you enable full screen mode as well once you have enabled all these things then you can click on the home screen go into settings and now we will go into notification and status bar over here you need to Disable show icons for incoming notifications. If you do not disable this option of show icons for incoming notifications, then you will have two notifications in your status bar. Once you have enabled all these things, you should start getting notifications in your status bar. Right now, I have set them up to be right below my clock icon. So there it is, they are set to be right below the clock icon you can however change that I will show you how you can change that so to change that you need to open the notch test application once you are on the home screen of notch test application you will see these three options x padding y padding and the icon size what is x padding x padding is the padding from the left edge of the screen so if I right now it is set to 20 the y padding is 60 and the icon padding is 35 let me show you what happens when you change it so let's change the x padding to say 50 once you've changed it click on the back button and then this icon which you see right now in the latest stable build looks like an email icon this in fact is a refresh icon i think the developer has changed it in the latest beta and then in the next stable build for this application you should be getting a floating icon with the icon change from a mail or a message to a refresh button so i click on this guy and bam you can see that my notifications moved towards the right because i changed the x padding to 50. let's now go ahead and change the y padding so we'll change the y padding to say 100 so that you can see what's going on i'll click on the check mark button leave the icon size as 35 and there it is you can see the y padding is right below the 
clock icon right now and I have set it to 100 which will make it shift down a little bit so let me click on this message button and you will see that the icons or the notifications move down a little bit and bam there it is you can see that the notifications move down a little bit because we changed the Y padding similarly you can also change the icon size so right now it's set to 35 let's go ahead and double it set it to 70 check mark button and then click on the refresh button which is this guy over here and bam our notification icons just increased in size so that's it for an explanation of your X padding Y padding and the icon size if you want to change the color of the icons then you have to buy the pro version and similarly if you want to change the background then also you have to buy the pro version which you can buy by clicking on this button over here which says pro version now if you reboot your poco f1 and you see that your notifications are not showing permanently no need to worry all you need to do is open the application and then click on the refresh button in my case it is this message icon over here in future builds like i mentioned before it might change to a refresh icon so just click on that and you will have your notifications show up i will leave in the description of this video settings or the values for x padding and y padding for two scenarios the first scenario is if you want your notifications below the clock and the second one is if you want them beside the clock i will also leave settings for that so that's it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.